There are loads more bedtime stories on BBC iPlayer. Just search CBeebies Bedtime Stories. Hello, my name is Rick and these are my friends, Blue and Bertie. Our story tonight is all about how they became best friends. I'm never going to give you up. I'm never going to let you down. OK, 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 that'll do, that'll do. On you go. Blue and Bertie is written and illustrated by Christina Litton. Every day, Bertie and the giraffes did the same thing at the same time. Crunchity crunch, they nibbled sweet leaves from the tops of the trees. Sip slurp, they took a cooling drink at the watering hole. And when they were tired, they curled their long necks and snore, 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 they snoozed. Each day was much like the last and that was just how they liked it. Crunchity crunch, sip, slurp, snore, snore, snore. And then, one day, Bertie overslept. When he woke up, he realised he was alone and he'd never been on his own before. What shall I do? What shall I do? said Bertie. Should I go left or right? Straight ahead or back? Bertie was lost. Soon, large salty tears were sliding down his cheeks. How was he going to get home? Suddenly, Bertie heard a noise. Hello, he said. Who's there? I can see you, said Bertie, bravely, and I'm not afraid. I might be a little bit afraid of you, though, said the creature, stepping forward shyly. Bertie was amazed. The creature was just like him, only he was blue. Don't be silly, said Bertie at last. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm just a lost giraffe. The blue giraffe smiled. I can show you the way home, my friend, he said, if you like. Bertie did like, so trit trot, trit trot, off they went together. You all right there, my friend? asked Blue. Very all right, said Bertie. I never knew all this was here. Trit trot, trit trot, on they went together. Wow, said Bertie, look at all this. These are the rarest flowers in the world, said Blue, smiling. Then, gallopy, 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 whoosh! I feel free, cried Bertie. You are free, my friend, you are, said Blue. It was a wonderful journey. I never knew there was so much to see, breathed Bertie. Thank you, Blue. Why don't we do it again tomorrow, said Blue. I can't, said Bertie. I have to crunch, sip and snore with all the others. Oh, said Blue sadly. Well, in that case, your herd is just over there. So it is, said Bertie. Hello, hello, it's me. I'm home, everybody. Bye, Bertie, said Blue, and he turned to leave. Blue, wait, called Bertie. Aren't you coming? Blue hesitated. I'm different, he said. Trust me, my friend, said Bertie. Bertie was right. Blue fitted in perfectly. From then on, the herd still crunched and sipped and snoozed, but now they did things a little bit differently each day. And that was just how they liked it. Best of all, Blue and Bertie remained the very best of friends. I think Blue and Bertie are going to be together forever, don't you? I hope that tonight you dream about your best friend and all the adventures you can have together. It's time for bed now. There are loads more bedtime stories on BBC iPlayer. Just search CBeebies Bedtime Stories.